we need something to be able to compare that one to. Ow! I hit my elbow. Hey, Bee Buds! I'm back, and today we're gonna do some fake versus real pick me pops. Okay, so I've had these forever and I keep putting them off because, to be honest, I keep forgetting about them. But I've decided I'm gonna do this video and let you decide, is it fake or is it actually real? Because as you're about to see, this is a pretty good fake if it is in fact a fake. Let's quickly check out the outside of the package so we can open up the inside. These are both lollipops with sticks, balls, clear tops, and blind bags. They both have tags with the proper information and I don't spot any spelling mistakes, so that is pretty great. The pink is the real. It is a season two pick me pop. It's got crisp, clear, sharp images with very little or non-existent blur because I can't see any. It's got a tear strip making it super easy to open and it says that it is season two, which is helpful so you know what you get. The fake is the purple one. It is a season one and it doesn't actually have that listed. It is blurry, it's got overlapping words so it's hard to read the sense at the bottom. There is no tear strip, not at all, and the images are not sharp. The reason we have a series one is because it is much easier to create knockoffs of toys that are no longer what is popular and in stores. If we look along the top where it is clear, you can actually see that there are holes and ventilation, so we should be able to smell the sense of these pick me pops through the plastic before we even open them. I'm gonna smell the real one first. Mmm, so I could smell that right through. It actually smells like cotton candy. Is that a scent? I don't know. It smells good. I can lightly smell it. It smells a little bit like blueberry in there. So let's go ahead and open the real one first, just because we need something to be able to compare that one to. Ow! I hit my elbow. And it's such a great thing that we have a tear strip when I find it right there, so that we can open it up. We've got a blue lollipop here. And here's our stuff. Here's our collector guide. We've got Flub the Pufferfish. It says, banana, hope your day is swell. Wait, is that a banana smell? Oh, now that it's out, it does smell like a banana. Mmm. Let's open up our Pufferfish. Ooh. Here's our cute little Pufferfish. So it's light blue and pink. This face is like, you can't see me making faces. That was pointless. <laughs> but it is super cute and squishy. Not squishy like a squishy, but squishy like a stuffy. So it's got some squish to it. He's got little yellow fins here and his tag. So let's smell him see if he does smell like a banana. Oh gosh, that's super banana. It's really cute. So we can put it right inside here and put his little envelope with him. And that right there is our real. Time to check out the fake. Way back there in the garden, picking our flower. Boop. Let's check it out a little close up for a second. See what I mean? Everything is kind of smushed and uncared for. To anybody else, you'd be like, oh, that's not that bad, Jen. But when you have it compared side by side, you can see what I mean. There's actually a big line going through here too. I don't think you can actually see it because of the lights, but yeah, it's not the greatest. It's all, can't read it. The other one was super, super easy to read. But anywho, since we have no tear strip, we're gonna have to struggle a bit. It's glued to the stick. Oh, I got it, I got it. So the color is a minty blue color. Ooh, ow. The blind bag is purple. Let's smell the inside. Yeah, it's still really faint. Maybe it's not blueberry, maybe it's strawberry. Okay, so the real Pick Me Pop container is much clearer than this one. So the fake collector's guide includes marshmallow as the scent and peppermint, and the real one has cotton candy and no peppermint. So the real one has 11 cents, and the fake one has 12. So let's see our little Pick Me Pop envelope. So this one is really papery, whereas the real one was more of a cardboard. It says, Grape, you're totally moveless. Tiki the cow. It feels pretty real. Oh, it's glued to the package. It's glued to the package. Wah, wah, wah. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Fail. So this is not looking very cow-like to me. 
In fact, it's got some pretty long ears and it's super tight, eh? One foot is smaller than the other. Uh, the face is kind of messed up just in the center here, but it looks like it's sad and winking at the same time because its eyebrows are like me. It's got an arm. The other arm is uh, half inside its body and it's got a tail, so it's not horrible. The smell does smell really, really good though. I'm not sure what smell it actually is because it doesn't really smell grapey. But uh, it smells more strawberry or blueberry. So according to the envelope, it was grape and it is supposed to be Tiki the cow. However, this is most definitely not a cow. So let's go back to our list and see if we can find out who it actually is. It doesn't actually look like it's somebody that's on here. Unless it might be this one. Okay, according to this, it looks like we have Abby the Bunny and it's supposed to be a bubblegum flavor. So let me see, does this smell more like bubblegum to me? It still doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't smell like bubblegum. It smells very fruity, like fruit punch, which is more like a, a strawberry-ish flavor. Scent. So it doesn't have beans in it like the other, uh, like the real one. It is fluffy inside, so it's like cotton. So it's definitely a bunny, and it's definitely tie-dye, and it's definitely not bubblegum. So those are three things working against what was supposed to come in this package. So recap, it was supposed to be grape, and it was supposed to be a cow, and it's not. <laughs> Look at them in their grass, their natural habitat. <laughs> so obviously, the fake one is a lot bigger. We're not gonna complain about that though, because I mean, it's bigger, why would you complain? <laughs> so it's got nice coloring, the stitching is, you know, not the worst thing in the world. It could be much better, especially when you compare it side by side. So you can see that it's got no little buck teeth, it's kind of just like, like somebody got really tired and decided to give up. The smaller feet thing is kind of, really weird and uh, we can't really compare it to feet of a puffer fish because he doesn't have any but you can clearly see that they've put a lot of effort into the stitching that went into the face and the body a little less so on our bunny let's go to the side the coloring is great on both and both have a dangler the dangler on this one is attached to a plain white ribbon on each side and the dangler on the real one actually has a pick me pop pee on it. The pick me pop pee will be on both sides of the ribbon that attaches to your dangler if you've got a real one. Let's check out the tag while we're down here. So it says moose, blah 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 on the back, the cleaning instructions, and it actually has two. And the fake one has the first moose one as well as a back the P is a lot less cool, as in it's really filled in and not quite the same. You can't copy everything, can you? And it also does not have the second label. There's not quite as much love put into the stitching or the addition of limbs. It doesn't have the P on the ribbon and it doesn't have the second label, it's bigger. And it's also filled with fluff versus the small plastic beads that come in this Pinkley Pop. But it's still scented, and it's still cute from far away. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> and I can actually smell them both from here, so the smells mixing together is pretty cool. Overall, not the worst fake in the world. They did send the wrong one with the wrong smell and the wrong card, but I mean, not the worst thing ever. It's bigger, it's still scented, it's not super, super badly made, so it's not a completely horrible fake, but it is still a fake. It was hard to tell from the outside because the outside is actually pretty decently done to the untrained eye, and if you don't have something directly beside it to compare it to, but you be the judge. Do you think it's a fake or not? Make sure you let me know down below in the comments because I'm gonna go with fake. And that is the end of our comparison. Aren't they so cute though? Regardless, you end up with something pretty cute. Um, yeah, if you know somebody who loves watching my fake versus real videos or any of my videos, make sure you remember to share this one with them, especially if they love pick me pops. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all future fun toy videos made by me as well as our fake versus real. And if you didn't know or are new to our channel, if you subscribe, you can find so many great fake versus real videos that we've already done in the past. So you should check that out. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.